Here's how I create a vintage vibe using LumaFusion. We want to go into the project settings. So we tap on the little cog icon, tap settings, and you want to change the aspect ratio. Now this is personal preference at this point. You can either go for one to one square, or as I like to do, a four by three. Once we've got all those settings, tap back out. You can see where we're at. Next thing you're going to want to do is highlight the clip, tap on the pencil icon, reposition things. So moving left and right, that kind of thing. This is pretty good as it is, so I'm not going to do anything to adjust the positioning. So if we're going to crop, you can see we can pull the crop in from the left hand side. Do the same on the right. Now I tend to eyeball these and I think that helps with this sort of vintage look that we're going for. Just slide the sliders and pull things in. And once you've kind of got things in an even sort of frame around your video clip, you're then going to want to apply edge softness and then corner radius to make it a bit more rounded. And if you want to, you can then just readjust the edges, either increasing or decreasing the edge. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go back into color and effects. And if you slide along the different presets, you'll come across faded 50. Tap on that, and then from there, I'm just going to decrease the vibrance a little bit more, up the contrast a little bit and crush the blacks, and that should be enough for that. Now the last thing that you can do if you really want to, is I'm in story blocks and inside footage, and I happen to be in the historical section, and I'm just going to look for a light leak slash film dust effect. I'm going to drag that above the layer. You can see the effect it's going to go for. We don't need the whole thing, so we'll just trim it up at the back end. And then from there we want to change the blend mode. So tap on the pencil finally. Go back to our position. You're going to want to set the blending to lighten or then we'll go for screen. Tap back out. I'm just going to adjust the size as I don't want to see that little film gate edge. Just want the, the dust and things. And then one thing I tend to do with these kind of dust and scratches is going to Gaussian, apply a 5 Gaussian blur within colour and effects and just take it down to about 1.4, 1.2 somewhere about that so you can still see the dust and scratches but they're a bit softer looking and there's the overall effect 